Good morning, everybody, and happy Wednesday. We are filming on the Moment app. No, nope. okay, so the Forden does shutter control, but does not uh, zoom. And we are running ProRes 4K60 Bluetooth mics. That's really cool. Um, I don't know if you have the flash or the light on this thing. So, I'm going to turn the light on. Um, and the funny thing is, and I th when I was looking at this yesterday while I was walking with the dogs, because I looked at what apps work with the Ford, which I'm going to continue to look and see if there's any more connectivity with this thing. Um, the Pro Camera app by Moment came up. I had gotten their battery case many moons ago, and it had problems it wouldn't charge anymore, and they literally refunded me my $100. But because I had downloaded, I had all their stuff, the app is still free for me. Because when I checked it yesterday, and I, and I was like, all right, $9, whatever, I'm going to test it. It still, it says, you've already had this app. Here's an updated version for free. Love it. All right, and we're on mics. Hmm. Very, very interesting. So I this this way, I don't have to plug anything into the phone. Ah, oh, it'll work with a shift cam. At least I can go both ways with my hand with that. Okay, that's uh, that's very interesting. And ProRes 60, ha ha. <laughs> Stabilization is on. Now that I've lit Priya up a little bit better, but uh, I'm gonna get out for puppy walks. It is brisk out. When I got up about an hour ago, it was uh, 27 degrees outside, so it was like minus three, <laughs> minus two. It's already going up. According to the weather station, it's 32 and zero now. But uh, good morning, everybody. Let's uh, get suited up and get some puppy walks moving here because it's almost nine o'clock. All right, running into some problems here this morning. Every time I go to export the video, it crashes Final Cut, so... You know, a lot of times after a iOS update, or an, a Mac OS update, I should say, restarting the computer when it's done is a best choice. But when I go to put in the tags is when it, like, crashes. So, it is such a pretty scene. I love that scene. Alrighty, a simple restart, and we are sharing the video. Hopefully, so far it hasn't crashed. Let me change my tags and everything. All right, hopefully that doesn't have any more issues while we're out on a walk. This is mm, convenient. Um, so I did go ahead and check the, um, in one sentence it says the pro camera by moment gives full camera controls with the Ford app. And then another one says that Ford has been working with moment, but yet they have not come up with any way to connect. It does connect to the OM6 though. That's kind of cool. We might have to give that a try at some point because there's a way to actually set that up and uh, use all the, I think, the zoom lever and everything with the uh, with the Moment app. There is another pro camera, but I'm not going to sit there and spend tw another $10 on an app that may not work either. <laughs> I don't know. But since the Moment one was free, I figured we'll give this one a shot. It's giving me Bluetooth control, 4K60 in ProRes, and um, I have a shutter, um, and it does have auto flash. I did turn that on, so, yeah, all right, let's get outside and get some walking in. Um, yeah, I got to pull the action and everything out of the out of the backpack and reset it and get the other microphone hooked up. I didn't even bother taking any of my stuff off. I don't care. <laughs> Just going to work as I am today. <laughs> Call me lazy. I don't care. That was a rough night. Very rough night. We'll get into details later. Oh, but on the flip side, it looks like camera control might work. <laughs> Apple's camera control works. You don't get... It doesn't look like you get all the lenses, though. You get one... You get to 0. 0.5 and then to uh, 1.5. We got frost, everybody. It's still on Bluetooth. Oh, that is, that is convenient. I like that. I do. Come on, let's walk. 
Yep, 4K60 is what it's got me in. It's not giving me any limits either, which is kind of weird, considering everything else tells me where my space is. I had myself on the 0.5 lens there, but it didn't seem like it was pulled back too far. All right, well, we're going to go back and forth here a little bit, see how Moment does. Now, the Evo is at a minus 0.8 which isn't too bad but the nice thing is that uh, it lets you control the ISO on the camera so last what brings that up is last night I got the Sony because we had beautiful clear skies moon is not full yet um, and I wanted to do the whole moving moon for the outro again this time a little bit without wind I froze my butt off but uh, Mike and I were talking because he got himself a new Olympus mirrorless camera and uh, I said what are the settings again because he told me you know so I locked the ISO at 100 at one point but then I dropped it down to 64 for photos <laughs> minus two minus three on the Evo 64 ISO get in there on that zoom on that freaking moon and it is beautiful it's the best moon photos I've ever taken so hopefully if we get a full moon I can get uh, get out and get some decent of it because last night I was lucky I was on the patio and the damn thing was like almost straight up which I was having all kinds of fun with the uh, the tripod it wasn't really the tripod itself it's because I have the extension bar on it and the cameras on one side and the whole thing was drifting on me so it took me probably seven tries I think to get a good shot of the moon because I kept cutting the bottom of it off but the moon a lot of times is going up right now it came across and went down so it's the it's a it's in a different trajectory right now so but still learning with these things so now i want to test this app on the tripod because you can drop the evo down or the iso down to, i think 54. <laughs> yeah i might be able to get some decent moon photos with the iphone now all right we got a beautiful morning going on here still crisp and clear and this is a lot of the reason we were able to get down so cold this morning, according to Weatherman Mike. Um, clouds will actually keep some of the daytime heat from escaping, whereas when we have clear skies like we did last night, yeah, that warm air just vanishes and we get really cold temperatures. At least that's in, that's the that's the easy way to say it. <laughs> So it's kind of like a blanket in a way, I guess. Yeah, that's it. It's an atmosphere blanket. There we go. That sounds good. Oh, yeah, I don't, I just, I was yesterday on our walk here. I mean, I quit filming and stuff. I know I played around with the Leica app real quick and I was just searching to see what other camera apps may work with this. Eventually I might look at the other pro camera app. I guess there's Odys Odessia or Dessa. Something like that, that is also supposed to work with the Forden. Um, we'll have to wait and see. I'd love to find another app that is, you know, that all the controls work, but has stabilization. But I have to say, the couple clips I filmed with, with the Forden app yesterday, I ran stabilization through, and, I mean, it, it, it does it. it. There's no, like, real science to it just run the analyzation and let it do its stabilization and the clips are in my opinion really good so downside is you only have 4k 30 and it's not in prores which you know whatever but there, there's a couple little laxing things with with that app and i that was my review was the fact that you know you only have 4K 30, no option for 60, and no stabilization. Update, please. Give us stabilization. I mean, that's going to take away the 20x zoom and make it 15, because that's exactly what it's how it's getting an extra 5x, because on film when it's filming, it's not stabilized, so therefore it's not punching in to take away any shake. I've learned a little bit over my years, so... Uh, oh, it looks like there's ice on that parking lot. The hell? Well, last night when I left work <laughs> at 9.30, uh, yeah, 
we uh, got in trouble. I'm going to get in trouble again. But, uh, yeah, the windshield was actually frosted. It was like, uh, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop right here, Dad, and sniff. Yeah, so all new Aldi finds for the holidays are going out. And, they're, I mean, it was, I think, six pallets in total, something like that. Uh, ten bays of, of items for eight bays of space. But some of the stuff was double facing. We had to actually unbox some stuff and stack it on the shelves to make it all fit. Then we had breaks. And by that point, it was uh, after seven o'clock at night. We have an hour of opening and we haven't even started the, the store cleaning procedures. Um, with all the cardboard from that, we had to, I had to make a bail. So that took me away from doing any of the closing procedures. It was just, it just, it kept compiling on top of itself. And we didn't actually start, I don't think, until about 7.40 doing closing procedures. And couldn't. I wanted to clean the floors. Unfortunately, someone didn't bother plugging in the scrubber. And it had died the night before. And it was still dead, surprisingly, because it wasn't plugged in. <laughs> and we, we, you know, we went through and had it. We did everything we were supposed to do. But apparently we're not supposed to keep going. If we're not out of there by quarter of, we have to leave. Now I know. So I don't know. It was it was just a it was a rough night. It was a very rough night. So tonight, I have uh, mine. Uh, barring that someone didn't call off this morning again, messing up my other closer. I have a 7:30 and an 8:30. We are getting the 7:30 is getting out of there at 7:30, and we are going to get out of there at eight o'clock tonight. I don't care. There are no ifs, ends, or buts. We are getting out of there a half hour early tonight, um, and then Saturday night, same thing. At least from my end, I need to get out of there, you know, and cut my hour that I had. I, I don't know. You want all this stuff done and you're sending people home when you could have had someone actually give us a starting hand, which nothing was done prior to. You're always going to find this frustration in, in retail. You know, they want everything done, but they want minimal people doing it. And they want you to be out of there before you're supposed to actually leave. <laughs> Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it. I mean, it, it, it's, you know, and the thing that is over and over again, how many closing shifts have I had? Three, four. I was always so, oh, you're not going to always get out of here on time. You might be here at nine o'clock. And now I'm told that I'm not allowed to stay past quarter of uh, nine. This is, that's another thing that's pissing me off is you tell me one thing and, it, you know, with the understanding that it, it can happen and will happen as an, as a new closer, uh, and then you yell at me when, you know, I do what you said originally would happen. <laughs> really? There it goes. Eh, nothing wants to work now. This just completely froze up, I think. I think that entire five minute clip I just recorded is not even there. I mean, according to the remote, it was still recording. I powered the remote off. Power that back on. Ooh, that's, that's trippy. Okay, let's see if that tricks it out of, I don't want to shut it down. So I'll probably lose that entire five minute clip. I don't know if this thing has a recovery or not. I have not had this problem before. I don't know if it's, I doubt it's a cold temperature. Oh gosh. Oh well, I was complaining about work. So it's probably best that clip is gone. <laughs> oh, okay. That's another thing I don't like about this app. And it does not have the little audio giant when you hit record. And we're still uh, thinking here. Yeah, we'll let it go and see what it does. All right, well, it looks like my five minute and 46 second clip is there. So that's good. I don't know what happened though, but it did save it. I am running external still, or internal, excuse me, internal. I think that was reconnecting to the mic. I don't think that was the message. Well, it wouldn't be built into the thing anyway. Okay. All right. Well, back up and running here. Give it another quick little shot. Got 30 Bowers on this morning. Well, Mateo will as well. All oh, these hand warmers are so nice. Oh God, I put it on two. You don't want to go to two until the battery starts to go down. Otherwise, you it'll start to burn your hands. Four. Hoo hoo. That's mean. I forget what the temperature rating is. Tim keeps telling me, and I never can remember him. Okay, that time it shut down. I think we're back up and running. Oh, 
I'm restarting a lot of things today. I don't know what's going on. Technology. Every once in a while, you get these little glitches. Come on, pray. Because, oh man, you're not making. You're gonna make me walk. Gonna make you walk a mile, pup. Plus, gotta get her exercise regardless of the temp. And you haven't done any business except piddle. I know your brother did out back. I gotta clean out back too. Plus, get all the Halloween stuff away. Her and I were talking about that last night when I finally did get home. You know, we still have the same note on the office door here. Today's Wednesday and there's nobody here yet. Rumor has it though, that the office will be going away and that will be coming an apartment again. Uh, and they will be at the other location. Maintenance has got to get water run to their building up there and internet so they can punch in and punch out. So, I don't see it happening right away, but apparently, you know, I don't think the conversion over, they might not. But them coming actually here to sit in the office will go away soon. I don't know, that's the rumor. <laughs> so no on-site management, just maintenance. Yeah, that's fine. I always kind of wondered, because of the amount we're paying here, uh, the biggest problem to that is the fact that the office has the workout room connected right to it. Which means you would have no patio and you would lose an access point to your, to your apartment. Unless they're going to do, do away with the weight room as well, the workout room, uh, and make that a third bedroom. But it is ginormous. It's bigger than any other of the three bedrooms because all they did was do the patio the workout room is way bigger than a patio so that would probably be like a $1,400 apartment if they give you that extra space and I don't know what they would charge you if they don't and you lose access which I thought was illegal <clears throat> not to have a secondary way out in case of emergency some of the apartments up top here uh, they don't have the upstairs up here has no deck like that one there. I mean, granted, you wouldn't want to have to jump off that, but it is a second access point for the upstairs. But they don't have a deck or a back door. They have one exit. And in case of emergency, you could be screwed. <laughs> and another good news, dope dope with his husky. Oh, you look, he broke the back glass. That's awesome. Um, yeah, they, they're moving out. I think they might already be in the process of, I haven't seen the car or the dog here in a couple days now. I always think this is interesting when there's shade. The sun doesn't hit direct, the grass stays, stays all uh, frosted. I ain't got some back here too. I'm not sure who set that up. Like a little basketball thing. Alright, second walk. Someone's not eager about this. <laughs> and I'm pulling most of the way down here. He's like, no, I don't want to do this. All right, so I'm definitely running into some <clears throat> dislikes about using the moment. Uh, of course, I'm always going to. The fact that you really don't have a scrolling zoom, kind of annoying. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't work on the controller. That just, and there are like a dozen pro camera apps in the app store and i don't know which one it's probably the ten dollar one obscura was the other one that's a joke they want a ton of money 64 dollars to buy everything for lifetime and your lens is covered in the fingerprint all right got that wiped off yeah that's the problem with some of these apps they get a little insane boy that sidewalk when it's uh when it gets really cold that sidewalk lifts like an extra two inches um they get a little on the uh, ridiculous side with what they think they can charge for these apps that the native camera does most of. I mean, maybe if you're a professional, but you're going to use a real camera. You're not going to sit there and play around with an iPhone so much to do these shots. So I don't need all that. And I don't think it actually connects to use the zoom features. That's what I'm all looking for is an app that will actually let me Use the zoom, but it's stabilized and give me the, well, the mic connection would be fantastic. 
Um, let's see how that all plays out. I'm going to plug everything in today and try to get this video uh, imported, potentially even edited. So, like yesterday, though, once this walk is done, video is done. And it just gives me one last thing to worry about, and I can focus on work. Like I said, i got to get out of there tonight and try to, try to reduce the hour over I am. Can't leave before 8 o'clock. But with any luck, we can lock the doors and get out of there at 8, 8.05. And uh, be done for the night. Wish me luck. It'd be especially helpful considering tomorrow morning i got to be back in at 6 a.m. Yay! So, that'd be one last thing I need to mess around with if I can get the video done! At least most of the way through. And uh, not to worry about it tomorrow morning. Alright everyone, I'm going to call it a day. I hope you have a great one. Uh, have a good night, stay safe, and I will see you tomorrow. We open the next two, and then close on Saturday. So, Sunday though is Shades of Death. Weather's supposed to be decent so catch you tomorrow have a good one bye